called the Woven Harmony Suite, and it's the, this first movement is called Square Suspended. Robert and I realized uh, an, another direction we wanted to take this collaboration was to commission a composer to come and observe what we do, how Robert uses tone color on the guitar, how I do my work visually, and then compose a piece of music for us for Robert to perform and for me to then leave uh, pieces in response to. He noticed that I work a lot with squares, which I can talk a little bit about. There are uh, six movements in that suite, and that's the first movement called Square Suspended. And if you're able to come on Sunday to our performance at the Letcher, installed on stage are the six pieces that were inspired by this suite, and we use that as part of the performance, and you'll get to hear the rest of the suite. So. And it's, it's very beautiful. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what you're looking at, all of these pieces in here are hand-dyed, hand-woven silk tapestries. So I buy uh, several different kinds of natural silks, uh, natural colored silks that have different light reflectiveness, different natural colors, and different <coughs> textures. And I take those and I buy, can buy about 12 different dyes. It would be the equivalent of a painter only having 12 tubes of paint. And from those 12 tubes of paint, being able to mix every color that they, an endless amount of colors, which is pretty much impossible to do with 12 tubes of paint. But I can take these 12 dyes and put them into liquid solution and use the metric system to measure, which allows me to measure down to a tenth of a milliliter of dye, which is literally a drop. And so from those 12 colors, it's unlimited the number of color combinations that I can do. So all the colors that you're looking at here in the gallery are colors that I've created by mixing the colors. It's colors that come out of my imagination and out of observing. But the other thing that I do is in each one of those dye pots, I put three different kinds of silk. It, the loom does two things in this kind of weaving. It holds those warp threads under tension and it's also tied up in such a way, I have treadles on the floor. A lot of people liken them to organ pedals. I can step on one of those and it raises every other thread and lowers every other thread, which allows me to go all the way across. And then I can step on another, reverse that, and go back. 